Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy. This is piece number 26. I'm laying down a black piece and a silver white base just to make sure that the paint flows smoothly when I do add it on. And please enjoy this video. Or I hope you enjoy this video. Shiny star, giving, receiving, changing, believing, only then we can start. Now, this is my take on a Dutch pour. I do use a combination of methods to get the artwork to get this piece to look the way I want it to look. And it does use some, I do use my straw, I do use my breath, um, a little bit that you may not see in this part of the video. But for me right now, I'm still learning, it's all trial and error, and I did figure out, yes, I actually do need a blow dryer, a new blow dryer, a stronger one. And I do eventually get one, but for this piece, I used what I have. Now, here's where I learned I probably should just stop here because I did like the way this looked. I like the way this came to be, but I tend to push, and so I keep going until I feel like I've completed it and I've reached my destination, so to say.
Right now, I'm going to be tilting it just because I want the paint to flow more towards one direction. I didn't want to keep having to, I didn't want to keep blowing. So I wanted to move in a specific direction, which was down. So as I said, I do use a combination of techniques when I create a lot of my paintings. But that's what just works for me. I'm quite sure a lot of people use different techniques when they're making their paintings. And it's good to learn. So I watch, I learn, and I practice. And I'm just going to keep going until I find what really sticks and what I really like. And this process so far, I do enjoy. It's a little time consuming. <laughs> and uh, depending on how big a canvas is but it's definitely worth it. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like or subscribe button, or do both. And I hope you've had a wonderful day or evening. Thank you for watching.